facilities like the conference halls of uh, the small size and the big size, it depends on the one you choose best. We have uh, restaurants services, we have bar services where you get all the soft drinks and the hard drinks plus the wines, we have different types. We have accommodation. With our accommodation we try our best to give the peace of mind. It's so beautiful, you're most welcome. Then uh, we have agent banking. With agent banking we have uh, other banks that uh, we normally try to liaise with and then it gives you the deposit. You also withdraw, you also pay fees for your children. And then uh, we have the gardens, all these at Villanova Business Park. The gardens that we have, you are there to, to choose whether you want to be under our coal mango tree or you are outside. We are able to put for you a tent for all the gatherings, the parties and all the parties that you wish to. So feel free, come to Villanova, visit and sit by yourself. You're most welcome. When you come here, actually you get a lot of stuff like uh, in our menu we do both local continental and oriental dishes at the same time so and our dishes are affordable right and affordable prices so they're not all that expensive and once you taste our dishes we'll come back for it thank you very much for being with us uh, Day. I want on behalf of Villanova Business Park to really say we are very grateful for the support that we have got from the local government authority, from the community and the entire people of Noah District for this project that we started 10 years ago. When we started 10 years ago, we are saying uh, where are we going to be? But we set ourselves a goal, and that goal was to be the ideal and prepared place for conferencing, for meetings, for accommodation, for entertainment, and also an important tool for uh, hospitality and tourism promotion. I think we have moved a great length to meet those facilities. Uh, we have quite a lot of things that have been put in place uh, like, for, for example, we have uh, uh, big conference rooms, we have also recreation gardens, we have lock-up sh shops, and we have recently opened uh, the what we call a superior guest house, which has become a huge center of attraction to a number of people, uh, not only in Noya district, but also outside the country. But let me say that uh, these facilities is just not limited to, to what we can provide. We are building a partnership with other hotels and uh, hospitality uh, uh, players so that we can actually sell even more rooms beyond what we already have here. And, and this practice is now very common uh, in many parts of the country. We find that uh, if we don't have rooms here, we can transfer here to a sister hotel uh, uh, in Moya, I mean in, the, in Para or in, in Gulu or in Lira or in Kampala. It, it just doesn't have to be limited to the facilities that we have. So it, it, this is a hub, this is a nucleus of what can be provided. And so we are very, very excited. Uh, we have received very encouraging comments from uh, customers that have come here. They have said this, we have set a very good standard and we, we, we just pledge that we continue to provide uh, those services with the same commitment. Uh, the cornerstone of our business here is all around customer care. We would like to give customers the best of what we can offer. So that two-way feedback from them or what we can improve on is extremely important. So the, 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 the feedback so far we have got is extremely encouraging. And I would like to call on those who have not yet visited us, please come, come over. You will ex experience the hospitality that uh, will live with you for a very, very long time. We also want to use this as opportunity to really engage with the young people, uh, to see that they can actually improve their life through 
the subcontracting of some of the activities that happen here. Already we have a very strong youth group that we're using for construction work. Uh, I think many of you must have already witnessed the, 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 the lot of work that is going on, but these are basically being delivered by the youth groups that are, that are here in Kochiboma, but are also drawing other people from Alero, from Anata, and they are working together. We have seen a transformation in the, uh, in, the, in the attitude and ability of these young people as they are organized and to deliver on contract, on time, and with the right quality. And I really would like to, to encourage that this kind of model is really very good if we have to, to bring our youth into the mainstream of the economy. They need to participate in productive work. They need to ensure that they can also uh, uh, get some income. Uh, from those activities. But again, we are not that say get a contract and get income, but we are also trying to help them. How do you manage the income that you get from these uh, various activities? So the issue of financial edu edu literacy, financial education, we have been cooperating. So you can see that our relationship is not just between, you know, the um, uh, uh, Villanova Business Park and a group of youth, but really trying to look at how can we support them in a more holistic way so that they, they become productive citizens. This is how the industry should work. The industry cannot work if it is in the middle of people that cannot afford these services. So we need to see how they can be supported to increase their income, to increase the welfare of their family and the living standards generally in the area. Again, I want to mention that uh, the approach of the Villanova Business Park has been about an integrated approach. That means that whatever services we offer here, we have to make sure that there is a link with other sectors of the economy. For example, if we say the, the accommodation, accommodation definitely requires other services that have to go in, and that will include, for, for example, preparation of meals. And preparation of meals, it means that you can buy food from the local market. You can buy other imports from the local market. Um, when you have a huge meeting like we have had uh, a number of occasions, it also means that there are other services that have to be procured from outside the premises of, of the residence park. And that is where the integration comes in here. There are a lot of small scale farmers around uh, that are rearing chicken, they are, they, they are rearing uh, piggery and all that kind of thing. And again, we're saying we want to link them up so that they are part of this development. So this integrated approach to us is, is the way of stimulating local economic development uh, in a much sustainable way. We, there is no way that uh, uh, Villanova Business Park can provide all these services without the support of all these different producers. So I, I would like to end by really inviting uh, all uh, people, not only from from Pochgomba, from Gulu, Anaka, and but in the sub region, because this this uh, this is a region with a huge economic potential, and we really have to make sure that that is at least. We cannot only talking about potential without you know getting it out and and and, and really uh, you know making sure that the economy booms. So we are looking at extending our our our, our network. Uh, not only in northern Uganda, as already indicated, but building network and partnership with a lot of other hotels, and of course with uh, all the the services that are there in the hospitality industry. So, I look forward for you to be part of us. Come, we discuss, and see, explore areas where we can work together. There are million and one of those areas that we can work together. I thank you. <laughs>